You're watching Alaska's Weather Source. You know, Alaska is known for its variety of weather and also for its extreme weather. And we're seeing both of those combinations here tonight. Up in the northwest corner of the state, it's beautiful. The sunshine is out. But look at these temperatures, 25 degrees right now in Kotzebue. Just a little bit further to the east, the snow is coming down in uh, Prudhoe Bay and Dead Horse. It's also coming down at this hour in Fairbanks. And all the way down into southeast, uh, that's where we are seeing rain today. Heavy rain and some extreme wind. And then also seeing that wide variety all the way out in into the Aleutians. Now, an area of low pressure uh, that is moving through southeast. That's what's been supplying the wind, also the rain today. But we have high pressure out into the Aleutians. And whenever you have high and low pressure next to each other, uh, that air gets squeezed in between the two. And so we've been seeing those strong winds uh, here through the uh, Aleutians and up into the Alaska Peninsula today. Peak wind gusts in King Ho, 47 miles per hour on the top edge of the storm. Seeing those high winds up into Dead Horse gusts of 44 miles per hour were there, uh, but the highest winds, those have been in southeast. Peak wind gusts in Juneau today up to 63 miles per hour in Ketchikan up to 45 miles per hour. And this is what it'll look like there today. You can see stormy conditions, not much of a view uh, for anyone visiting or they're hanging out in Ketchikan today with that heavy rain and the high wind. Late in the day, some peaks of that blue sky uh, as that storm pushes to the north. But look at these storm reports across the region today widespread high winds between 60 and 67 miles per hour that was this morning tonight as seen those high winds in Juneau through the afternoon in fact about 24 hours of power outages in Juneau uh, today we did have reports of a tree into a line here in the Mendenhall Valley uh, also seeing those peak wind gusts again over 60 miles per hour there the high wind warning is still in effect further to the north until seven o'clock tonight uh, but the entire region still seeing strong winds gradually weakening as that storm system continues to move to the north. Also bringing in wet conditions there today over an inch in Ketchikan and close to it in Juneau and Sitka. Also seeing that heavy rain in Yakutat and we're going to continue to see rain in those areas tonight. Uh, but Fairbanks from same storm now on the map with one one hundredth of an inch of precipitation coming down as snow. And this is what it looks like uh, tonight in North Pole. You can see that snow beginning to stick to those road surfaces. And we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for the area through tomorrow morning. We're looking at three to six inches of snow with some breezy winds there. Also, winter weather advisory in effect up north along the coast for snow and blowing snow three to five inches starting later tonight, uh, continuing all the way through Tuesday afternoon. So wet conditions there for the eastern side of the state. It'll be a winter Tree mix across the Copper River Basin tomorrow. Heavier rain in Prince William Sound, and just a chance we get some of those showers pushing into the Matanuska Valley, even near Palmer, up over the mountains here in Anchorage and further north toward Hatcher Pass. Uh, but once we get into later this week, Thursday, uh, that's when another storm system will come pushing in from the south, and that'll give us even better chances for that moisture to make it into Anchorage. Tomorrow, some light snow in McGrath. Kotzebue continuing to see snow up on the slope, down into southeast, continuing to see rain. You won't see the high winds, though, tomorrow. Highs will be back into the 50s. A nice day on the Kenai Peninsula. Just a chilly start with low temperatures near 30. Wet conditions across Prince William Sound with that wintry mix up into the Copper River Basin. For the valley, I put in that chance for those showers reaching Wasilla and Palmer. Don't want you to get caught off guard by that. Uh, but further west and to the north, I do expect drier conditions. And mostly cloudy here in Anchorage, starting out cold at 32, a high of 41. Better chances that you'll run into those showers if you head down through Turning an Arm and near Girdwood. Similar conditions here on Wednesday, Thursday. That's when we have better chances of seeing that wintry mix. Con uh, including Friday and Saturday. Temperatures staying cool this week. Low 40s during the day, low 30s overnight. We do warm up a little bit, though, by Monday. That storm on Monday looks to bring some plain old, old-fashioned rain. No old-fashioned rain. We <laughs> yeah. like that. Thanks. Yeah.